Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Just Rick 501, and today I want to go over a loose guide for building an armored war brig. Now, the reason it's a loose guide is because you can customize ships pretty extensively in this game, and cannon placements, the specifics of the armoring, um, how you customize the bottom decks, all that type of stuff, um, you can do however you want, however your play style is. Um, if you want to do just, you know, one broadside and that's where you want all of your cannons, if you're good at maneuvering and good at setting those shots up, um, if you want it to be a heavy chase or getting chased ship, so you put a lot of large cannons on the front and the back, um, if you don't want um, broadsides, all that type of stuff, you can customize yourself. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys, this was the first armored brig I made. I still have this ship. It's still going. I've gotten in multiple big battles with it. Um, land raids with it, been hit by mortars, been hit by, you know, land defenses, tons of stuff. Had to completely repair, had planks destroyed, had to replace those. This ship's been through a lot and it's still going. And it can take, these armored ships can take a lot more damage than a normal built ship. So, now, before I get started, I do have, I did record me completely building this ship after I prefabbed like all the planks, all of the ceilings, walls, all that type of stuff. I did completely build it without cannons, um, but I pretty much built everything to where I want to put the cannons and all that type of stuff. So if you guys want that full video, it's pretty long. If you guys want like an unsped up version or a sped up version, full version of that, let me know in the comments um, specifically what which one you want. There's going to be footage of that in this video while I'm talking, but if you want the full version, let me know in the comments and I can upload that if you guys want it. So, the basics of this, I'm going to start with the basics of a brig if you don't know basically. So brig, you have to make it a large shipyard. You basically make the shell, then you need 40 medium planks. Now, I don't think you can really use gun ports on this because you might be able to... Um, have some gun ports on this but i really wouldn't recommend it because the armoring kind of goes over it so you're gonna have to put your cans on the top deck what we're building on so 40 planks um if you want to try a different version with gun ports just replace how many gun ports you want um, but that's 40 planks you place those on you're gonna need three large sails i do three large speed sails um, because it will be a bit heavier. I don't think weight sails are worth it compared to speed sails. So just speed sails. You're not going to be able to place all the cannons you want on it right at the start. You're going to have to level this boat up to get up more weight. I think I went up to 4,000 increased weight from leveling. Um, then pretty much the rest into um, crew. So I can have a lot more NPCs on it. And then the three decks and then basically you are set to start the armoring which you start on the top deck now how i did it was all the way along the edges the as close to the edges as you can i placed normal sized walls um all the way along the edges of the ship basically besides the back the back i customized a little bit but you pretty much still just do the same thing on the back as well um and then you sealing off to the edge so off the edge of the ship basically you put one row of ceilings across all of those walls and then off those ceilings you put roofs um you can change however you want the roof but just a normal um basic roof right when you click on it don't go through any types that's the, the first type right when you click on the roof to place it that's the one i use on the ships it looks the best too um and then you're going to roof from the ceiling on the ship down so basically you're wanting these roofs to cover as much of the planks as you can possibly do basically and you do that all the way around the ship now i don't know how to armor the back two planks of the ship you can do all the sides but once it gets to the very back you're vulnerable because i don't know how to armor those you can't even build right up to the back of the ship like you can on the schooner so i don't think you can armor I'm still going to be looking around to see if I can find any ways to armor the very back two planks. But just know you're, you're vulnerable on those back two planks. So basically you want to try to maneuver around that so you're not getting shot on those back two planks. So you're getting shot on the armor. You can armor the front perfectly, the sides. It looks nice. You see in the video I spent some time to make it look nice on the armoring. Um, and then that's basically your platform. Your ceilings on the sides with the armor and going down. And then basically I built up 
Um, I did one more layer of ceilings more into the ship so it was easier to walk on. Um, then I built my back thing up, basically on the back side of the ship up more so I could have um, some large cans on the back. Now you don't need to do that if you don't want to. Um, then I did large on the front and how the, I have the ship right now is I also have 10 medium cannons on the side sitting on those ceilings. Um, you can do whatever type of cannons you want wherever. Um, and that's pretty much up to you depending on how much weight you have, depending on your play style. If you want, if you're good at maneuvering, so you can do the large cannons on the sides, big broad sides. If you don't want front and back cannons, if you only want front and back, all that type of stuff, you can customize however you want. But after you have this basic with the armoring and all that stuff down, um, it's up to you to customize the rest. Because after that armoring's down, it gives you good platforms to put cannons. Um, on the back, you can build up multiple layers if you want. Um, and then the rest is just customizing going down into your ship all you know your boxes your storage your resource boxes your ammo boxes all that type of stuff now this is just baseline for every ship i'd also recommend having swivels on it so what i did at the very front of my ship i actually have a bed because if you don't know when you're moving people tend to fall off boats especially if they're in the back or bottom deck so on the front top deck right at the front i basically have an encased walled in area with a door so you can spawn there and not fall off the bat not fall off the ship at all no one falls off if they spawn on this front top deck bed and then i have um the variation of the walls that have the circle in them and then i have swivels multiple swivels at the front if i want to put multiple nbcs on the swivels um so they're defending so that bed is defended so they can get um basically the top deck um not the very top because we built up since we're doing walls and ceilings we built basically a new deck kind of on top of the very top deck normally so this will get the normal deck and then on the very back that i have multiple layers built up on the very back of the ship as you'll see i have a in case swivel next to my steering wheel on that side to get the higher level and to aim up if people are trying to get on the crow's nest and that's pretty much how I have this entire thing built. Now, I also recommend being careful with how many different things you place on the ship because if you don't know, these ships have a cap to the amount of items you can place on it. So ceilings, walls, storage boxes, all that type of stuff. I did try to wall my new deck that I placed off the like ceilings and armoring. I did try to completely wall that, but with all of that, with all my storage boxes, all that type of stuff, I capped out. Um, what I could build on the ship without being able to like encase my cannons on the top deck correctly. So I removed some of that. I have the center open. Um, you guys will see, I'll, I'll definitely add some like screenshots um, of my, how I have my ship now, but it's basically open. Um, some of the lower decks, like the very low deck going up to the second deck, I have just open basically because you know, a door and a door wall or a doorway basically counts two different things. So that's a lot of um, basically more parts used up. So you're gonna have to be kind of conservative depending on what you wanna do with all your parts and stuff like that. So that's basically how I built my armored brig. Go give it a try. Um, it definitely takes a lot of damage. I've been in multiple battles where all of the roofs on the side and even the ceilings on the very top deck have taken a bunch of damage but the planks haven't taken much damage that are covered under them. So even if those roofs get destroyed in combat and you have to replace them at some point, even if they get destroyed in combat, then the people have to then hit the planks under that roof, which is also going to be hard. They'll have to destroy a ton of ceilings to get a decent shot on a specific plank to be able to destroy it and get a leaking or fully destroy it. So it's super armored. Your ships are able to take a ton more damage. Um, I'm going to be testing out some more um, builds with this. Now, I am playing on official servers, so it's not the quickest thing to build up a brig and test stuff on it. But I will definitely be doing that. Um, leave a comment down below if you want me to upload the full video of me building it. Um, leave a comment what you think about this ship build. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Leave a like if you like the video. 
and thanks for watching. Thank you.